characters that are definitely black y'all said piccolo knuckles you know what i'm saying he always want to box somebody up yeah i'm assuming this is like anime has a problem with lack of black representation while not being as big of a problem cartoons also have this problem many well-known anime like naruto attack on titan and black clover have adapted to add black characters in their anime however a lot of shows have not adapted to the current times so yeah they're picking like characters that don't seem black and you know saying oh this one might be black i don't know anyways bro listen i am live on kick there will be a link to the original video down below check it out and there will be a link to the streams growing up it felt like we never had a lot of black characters in fiction so we like had our Ooh, chad who remembers the old 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 rna 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 profile picture that's the man right there yeah People were always like, yo, who is that guy? Who is that guy? Why don't you change your profile picture? Shut your ass up, bruh. Them was the days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vash, is it gay to like Lunar, but in your perspective? No, it's not gay, bro. Lunar, that's my mans, man. That's my, that's my twin. We like had our couple here and there. We had Cyborg, Static Shock. But for yeah. the most part in cartoons, Super that's pretty much like all static we had. Shock. <laughs> Especially in anime, bro. In anime, there was no black characters. What do we have? Mr. Popo? Besides the occasional oh, one-off joke black character, it really seemed like there was no black anime characters and not that many black cartoon characters. And what that meant for a lot of us kids growing up is that we had to identify characters as black that had no race or were racially ambiguous. Like, if you were white, you had, like, Danny Phantom. You had, like, Johnny Taste. You had every cartoon character ever. If you were Asian, yeah. you had a couple cartoon characters. For us, we didn't have shit. Who do we have? Little Bill? <laughs> so naturally, we just started picking motherfuckers. So any character that was yeah. slightly black, we automatically pick them motherfuckers as black. We have a whole list of characters that aren't necessarily technically black. Hell, their voice actors might not even be black, but we know they're black. The first one on this list gotta be Piccolo. Undisputed, if wearing a do -rag Really? Wasn't enough. Oh yeah, the do rag, I guess. Wait, yeah, GC, you said Piccolo as well. What did he do that makes him black? Hold on for you this motherfucker just had black energy all right whenever he was on screen you knew that motherfucker was black the only problem was they hold him very quickly in the show for like the first three seasons of dragon ball it was like all right we still got piccolo but like bro by the cell saga it was like damn we got piccolo bro and they kind of bring piccolo back he kind of like on his shit recently but like for the most part he's still piccolo <laughs> and he's always getting hold bro yeah bro he's getting pieced up but with all that hoeing aside with all the shit they do to him with him getting his ass rocked every occasion with him being so sorry that he don't even participate in fights anymore he just fucking meditates on a mountain he was the one nigga we had you know there was no black characters in dragon ball like obviously like the original dragon ball you had the occasional black racist characters but for the most part there was no black people <laughs> black like i said i'm pretty black sure there still are no black people yeah at least that's Naruto has black people. so it's still a blessing that we even were able to see piccolo Ooh, as black but there's a lot of characters like piccolo you got knuckles let alone the fact that Idris Elba voiced him in the new Sonic series and the yeah. Sonic movies and shit. He's black. He's so black that he's the only character in Sonic Adventure that had a rap song. I ain't gonna let it get to me. I'm just gonna creep. He was the only one that got that. If that wasn't the studios directly telling you Knuckles is black, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you. Knuckles was so black, in fact, that they had to go get a black voice actor. They were like, look, if y'all don't start accepting this black, we'll directly point that shit in your face. But still, if you said this out loud, people were like, uh, Knuckles is an echidna and he's, uh, he's red. If I was to say Sonic is not white, it'd be a problem, right? Like, Sonic is clearly white, right? So, Knuckles <laughs> was the only black character in there. Maybe I'll give you Shadow, because Shadow was so with the shits that, like, no nigga grabs a pistol the way Shadow grabs a pistol and isn't a nigga, so I just know Facts. for a fact he's black. Like, Yo, no, the, the, way, skew, uh, no the way RDC uh, represented him in the, uh, what was it, video game house? Bro, it was so perfect. Debate about it. Even when we like start to step into debatable territory, all those characters are still black, right? I also got Raphael from the Ninja Turtles. Why you look like that? I know, I know a lot of y'all about to say he's not black. Um, the way he was ragged up in the movie Ooh. and the way he's been continuously ragged up years now only leads me to believe he's the black one of the group. Now, don't even get me on that Michelangelo's black shit. He might be, he might be, but in my honest opinion, I know all of them are kind of black in the newest movie, but like at one point, Raphael was the only brother of the group. Like Leonardo was clearly white. Michelangelo's clearly white. Maybe I'll give you Michelangelo, but that he's, he's still a little white. Donatello. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hell no. Nah. I don't know. I know, I know a couple of <laughs> niggas like Donatello, I'm not gonna lie, but I still think Raphael's the blackest one out of all the Ninja Turtles. It's hard he was to the describe coldest. to you what exactly black energy is and how a character can portray it through the way they act, but whatever it is and however you explain it, 
Raph had that shit, and he continues to have that shit to this day. Master Splinter, I, 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 I gotta get some air. Raph was black in that show. It, like, that was the first show that made me be like, all right, maybe Raph is black. In the original Ninja Turtle cartoon, I wouldn't really say anyone was black. I brought back some takeout, so, like, let's get down and pig out. That show Wait, made Raph like black, that. and Raph has not gone back to not being black in a very long time. They made all of them black. Like I said, Raph is the first and original black dude in that cast. Next, we got that nigga Knack. Bro, he really Represents New York very well, bro. Mikey gotta be black, according to the movie. He for real got that New Yorker energy. That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. Hey, yo, my nigga, I'm talking to you. What are you doing here? Oh my God. We just watched this meme. What? Yo, what is this coincidence? No way. Yo, P, you know this nigga? Now, now my thing with Nack is like, Nack is so unbelievably black that like I don't believe anybody can argue that he isn't like anybody who played Knack 1 and Knack 2 now don't at me right now and be like this nigga played Knack all right it was the game that came with the PlayStation all right and Knack was Knack was black like Knack is probably the blackest character out of this entire what list did he I do? know I said Piccolo was but even Piccolo takes a step down after Knack bro now, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that Knack was a good game or even that I enjoyed any point of playing it because like really the whole game is busy work but the one thing that made me like stay for the game was Knack because Knack was black and in a way even though the game was really shitty and even though I didn't want to play it anymore I felt a personal connection to that it made me want to continue the game and eventually beat it that and Knack 2 which was arguably even worse now unfortunately I okay, really don't got much do? to say about Knack I mean I, I like I said he's black but like he doesn't really have much personality outside that I can't commend him for being black as much as maybe the voice actor was black and it just showed through the character oh. like, he wasn't necessarily any of the positive things he was just kind of like a, a thing that existed and like collected more things it felt like an off-brand Lego game so I can't say much about Knack. <laughs> like I said, I focus with the character, but that's about it. Now, a character who is similar to Knack and the fact that the voice actor is black is Kratos. Hey, you know, they beat him up, stomped him. Yo. What did he do to make them niggas that mad? Now, don't even bother talking to me right now, bro. Kratos has always been black. When I first was a little nigga and they picked me up and put a titty in my mouth and I- Yo, young Kratos. Bro. Wait, what did he just say? Anyways, young Kratos, bro. Them early God of War games, man. We had to revisit those. I mean, we have to revisit those. Now, I know that I made that list saying I'm going to play every God of War game, and I lied. All right? I know I lied, bro. It's what I do, bro. I just be capping. But one day, one day we're going to go back. We have to. Has always been black. When I first was a little nigga, and they picked me up and put a titty in my mouth, and I first played God of War 3, it was like, okay, even though his skin is white, I knew he was black. Like, there's no debating that Kratos is black. If you don't look at Kratos and immediately see a black man, something's wrong with you. Not only was Kratos black, but he was just raw as fuck. Like, nobody got hands like Kratos, which leads me to believe he is black. I love Batman, but Kratos fought different. He was taking vengeance on life itself. Kratos continued to be black throughout the next God of War games, and I commend the studio for that. Like, I mean, I know he is white. His son's white. But like, look at the voice actor, bro. Come on, Kratos it's the type of black. energy, yo. Okay, I don't care. I don't care that Cyborg is already black and Wait, he was really? on the show. Starfire is black, and I didn't fully think this until I played Injustice too. When I was like, okay, this this girl is definitely light skin. Like, we gotta play this game like this too, bro. She's light skin. I don't know what's wrong with you. Let alone the original depictions of Starfire, where she was she was definitely a black woman. And then Yo, they Frost Breezy, thank you for the follow, my boy even casted a black girl to play Starfire, which y'all y'all didn't really like too much. I, d I would say I didn't fully like the casting, not because of the skin color, it's just I just didn't really fuck with the show. Yeah. And I didn't fuck with that version of Starfire. However, if Starfire is to be recasted, there's a couple actresses who definitely need to play her and they're all black. So I, I don't want to hear about this Starfire. Ooh. See? You see, chat? Starfire look good right there. You know what I'm saying? And... I don't know what's going on, but they're just making characters ugly nowadays. You know what I'm saying? But hey, E Man, but Raven, yeah. Raven do look good. I thought that. Yeah. But yeah, as of lately, bro, like video game characters are like, they're either casting the wrong people, or when it comes to video games, they're just making them ugly. Why? as white nonsense if starfire was white in the movie that'd be like making harriet tubman white in a movie like that's just that's <laughs> reaching so far i would have to smack the director through the screen you know what i'm saying this now guy. the third dude who's the most obviously black in any show i've ever seen has got to be darwin from amazing world of gumbo darwin really? is 100 percent black darwin to me not only was he like the best character in the show darwin was black i really fuck with darwin okay darwin made the show for me i like gumball gumball's cool he a little bit of a 
a little bit of a biatch, but I still, I'm, Darwin was my boy. Nah, you know Darwin, what I'm saying? Darwin yeah. was my guy. It's the only thing that got me through. Oh, that Darwin's show. uh, I mean, cause Darwin's uh, a voice guy is a, a, a voice character, or whatever. Wasn't he? Uh, he's black too. It's like this black little kid. No, Come on, the list goes on of characters that are definitely supposed to be black, whether or not the studio will admit it or not. You got Sandy Cheeks. You got the Devil Nigga from Powerpuff Girls. You got a lot of characters that are definitely black. In recent years, though, like uh, media has done the justice on. by us. I'll say the only disservice they really done to black people is giving us that ridiculous lockup that they keep giving every character. Oh, I know I'm not the first fucking hairstyle. to say it, but I'm definitely not gonna be the last. I'm so tired of this fucking hairstyle that only worked on Killmonger because Killmonger was really different. Like he was so different, the nigga had a Vegeta fit on in the movie about Black Panther. Like he was just different in all types of ways. Not only was Miles Vegeta. Morales in the games, I feel like a weaker depiction of Miles versus the version in the movies. Him getting that lock up made me want to slap the fuck out of him. Like him popping out with that. What the fuck are you wearing? Outfit. That shit's ass, bro. And that's when I was like, all right, I really got to reevaluate the, the situation that I'm in right now. Because there's no way he, one, got that lockup, and two, cut a hole in the top of his mask just so we could see that trash-ass D'Angelo Wallace-ass hairstyle, bro. Get that shit. I'm so tired of that shit, bro. Who but is for that? the most part, media's done us justice. I got to give my love to Naruto. Every black character in Naruto was beyond hard pause. Even though I'm going to piss a lot of y'all off right now. Even though who Naruto and Sasuke are black. And, 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 and I don't, don't get me started. Don't get me started. No, they're not black. I know they're not black, bro, but like Sasuke, personally, Man. I grew up thinking I was Sasuke, and for me to be Sasuke, Sasuke has to be black. So I don't yeah, care I was how gonna many say that. Maybe Sasuke, you see yeah. Naruto and Sasuke drawn as black dudes, I don't give a fuck. Specifically, if they're drawn as Uzi and Cardi, a lot of y'all was getting mad at that shit. And, and I'm not, I'm not one of the advocates for making every single character in fiction black. Y'all didn't have to make Ariel black, okay? I didn't necessarily agree with that. I don't care, but I don't really agree with it. Like if if I watch the next Superman movie and it's Michael B. Jordan, I might just throw my popcorn on the floor, bro. I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, 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 that point. You don't doing have to too make much. every fictional character black. Not every fictional character has to be black, bro. Not everyone. There's some hard ass white dudes pause. Like Batman. Batman is hard. Ba I love Batman. Yo, bro. Bruce Wayne. Wayne. Be Batman. Batman. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but Batman is a white dude. Like, not only is he a white dude, he's a freshly dressed Tristan Tate looking white dude. You know what I'm saying? Don't change he's that. Fresh, bro. Don't he's mess fresh. with that. The characters that we do get. I really appreciate and love, especially when they're their own characters. Like, don't take over pre-existing characters and make them black. Do make new black characters. Because every time y'all do, they always bang, bro. But that's it. All right, even though this nigga Kratos is white as shit, that nigga is black. Bro, did he just, is the last did he just wake up? person you would want to piss off? A bald black nigga. Now, Kratos has done a lot of grimy shit. There's just one thing that you can do in that game, and it just erases all that other shit. And that's when he fought to face his wife and killed him after. Yo! Oh, yeah. The face is ugly as fuck, bro. Damn! His wife don't already love him. And Kratos just comes along and barbecues this nigga with some fucking lightning and shit. Nigga said, fuck Benjamin Franklin, that nigga taken too long. Kratos is by far my favorite black coated character, bro. He's grimy as shit, he does whatever he wants. Kratos' whole design is based off of African tribe, and that's why he's like black coated. Shout out to my nigga Omni, bro. Y'all check out his channel, it's in the comments and shit. Bro, Make just sure woke like up and just like, oh man, I gotta go to work, man. Let me, let me, let me do this little commentary. So you know Kratos over here, you know what I'm saying? He black. Okay. Like, what the fuck? Like, subscribe, comment, all that, and I will catch y'all on the next one. Okay. And that right there is characters that are definitely black. He cooked, though. He cooked. He had some really good characters. And then he started talking about Naruto and Sasuke. Sasuke could low key pass as black. You know what I'm saying? Naruto, nah, he a little too puasse. I ain't gonna lie. But what about like Hispanic characters? What do we got? Shit, we don't got nothing. They're probably gonna be named Hector or Jose or something. And they're probably gonna be Mexicans with a Mexican hat selling tacos or, or I don't know, man. Anyways, bro. Dope video. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah.